Durham is North Carolina's educational hub. Famed Duke University built its sprawling campuses right in Durham's downtown. But before higher education became one of North Carolina's largest sources of income, big tobacco ruled the state's economy. Durham's tobacco era began during the Civil War. After several important victories in 1865, Union soldiers raided and looted the city's tobacco warehouses. Those Union soldiers returned to their homes in the North, but had become hooked on North Carolina tobacco. Uh, from that it grew and grew and grew to a number of uh, small tobacco factories. Business started booming when tobacco magnate Buck Duke purchased a patent for the first cigarette rolling machine. By 1890, Duke's factories produced 40% of cigarettes sold in the country. After merging with several competitors, the American Tobacco Company was born. Within few years, Duke's company sold 90% of the cigarettes in the U.S. Generations of Americans indulged in smoking almost without care or concern until January 11, 1964. That day, the federal government published a 400-page report connecting smoking with cancer. The onset of the campaign against smoking meant the end of the big tobacco's health sign days. In 1978, Durham's largest cigarette plant, American Tobacco, closed its doors. For decades, the only visitors to its empty shell with broken windows and graffiti were pigeons. At that time, the police SWAT teams were training out here. So I saw people running around with paint guns shooting at each other. Architect Eddie Belk was hired by the plant's new owners in 2004. Specializing in reconstructing historic sites, Belk was tasked with transforming the tobacco plant into a multi-purpose complex. American Tobacco, once the biggest tobacco manufacturer in the world, is now a unique place where you can live, shop, work and have fun, while also learning something about one of the most exciting chapters of American history. During summer evenings, this stadium, which is also part of the complex, hosts one of the best minor league American baseball teams. The glimmering American Tobacco Building and the Lucky Strike Tower are symbols of tobacco empires gone by and provide an example of the past transforming into the future. Masha Morton, Mike Masuradze, VO News, Durham, North Carolina.